friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we will be doing a detailed and in-depth review of the new iq 90 so iq 90 is the latest flagship level smartphone announced by iq and this comes with the most powerful uh, chip available for android it is the qualcomm snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chip and uh, this is loaded with uh, features uh, uh, almost all of the features you expect in a, in a 50k device uh, you get it on the iq 90 but how does it uh, uh, work uh, in the real world uh, testing that's what we're going to talk about in this video now this device is priced 49 and you get uh, for around 46,000 with offers so how good is the device for that price segment let's analyze in this detailed review so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's start off with the design and build quality now if you look at the design aspect of the iq 90 it has a lot of resemblance to the iq 9 pro we have a large area here it has a separate finishing and you get the squarish camera layout now the squarish camera layout is slightly smaller compared to the iq 90 where we had a complete rectangle but you get a dual tone finish this is a matte finish and here we have a glossy finish so in terms of design language uh, uh, this has a lot of resemblance to the iq 90 or rather 9 pro uh, here we have uh, a textured pattern and here we have a matte finish and it uh, looks good actually this is made of glass and we have a metal uh, frame aluminium frame that makes the device uh, even more better in terms of uh, the looks so uh, you get a uh, power and volume keys uh, on the right side the left side does not have any openings or slots bottom has uh, the uh, type c port the same tray and the speaker unit you get a stereo speakers the top section does not have any openings or slot but it feels really nice in terms of uh, uh, look and feel it is a bit heavy because of uh, the uh, uh, the metal uh, chassis it uh, feels a bit more heavier than the oneplus uh, 10d but uh, it is quite good actually uh, in terms of uh, uh, the build quality because it is a metal chassis it feels really premium now it's pretty slim as well so overall build quality wise looks good there is also gorilla glass support uh, for the display uh, you get uh, very narrow bezels as well so so everything uh, uh, you ask for in a flagship level smartphone you get it on the iq 90 now the design is kind of subjective some people may like it some people may not like it but again we uh, probably like the design not much of an issue here so overall design and build quality looks quite okay next let's move on to the display aspect now this device comes out uh, with a larger full hd resolution display it's again a 10 bit AMOLED panel and uh, you get a really good uh, experience hdr 10 plus support gorilla glass support is there so it's a pretty vibrant and crisp display especially if you are watching a lot of movies and ott platforms this definitely makes a good display now the display quality touch response feels very nice you can see here very smooth uh, it is uh, 120 hertz refresh rate and feels very smooth as well the colors are vivid and vibrant and overall quality looks good viewing angles are also good it's a 10 bit emulator so it does feel uh, really nice and uh, if you are watching a lot of movies again once again it feels pretty good in terms of uh, uh, the depth uh, the color contrast it looks good uh, the blacks are also pretty deep so display quality is definitely good we don't have any sort of issues here so it's uh, quite a good uh, display for the 50k price segment now next let's move on to the software experience now this device is powered by android uh, uh, 12 and uh, it is uh, having this custom fun touch os now fun touch os is uh, vivo's uh, custom ui on top of android 12 this is the fun touch os 12 now uh, we have been uh, using this fun touch os on quite a lot of devices including the iq 9 pro now when we reviewed the iq 9 pro we mentioned that uh, the software is kind of a slightly weaker aspect on this device the same goes with the iq 90 as well the software is quite good in terms of experience but uh, it is kind of uninspiring experience compared to say MIUI or the Oppo's uh, color OS or even the Samsung's uh, One UI it doesn't feel that kind of a polished UI so let's uh, have a look at the, the UI so you can see here uh, the app drawer then if you go to settings you get all the features basically but it doesn't feel like a very polished UI now dynamic effects are there lot of animations are there then uh, you get additional features like ultra game mode is there uh, this is a very good device for gaming then shortcuts are there smart uh, s capture smart uh, motion uh, split screen easy touch uh, so a lot of options are there but then again uh, it is not the best ui experience you get now if you look at the uh, android version you get uh, uh, the android 12 and uh, 253 gigabyte storage qualcomm snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chip and it also gets the v1 plus chip uh, which is a custom chip for camera experience so that's also included you get 12 plus 4 gigabyte uh, ram extension as well now it feels quite good you can see 
this is the notification toggle. Once again, these are not really polished UI. We feel uh, we should be uh, looking at a bit more better experience at least in the premium segment. So that's the software experience. Now moving on to the performance. Now this device is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, the most powerful chip out there on an Android smartphone. And it is coupled with up to 12 gigs of RAM, LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage support. And uh, you get a really stunning performance out there. A blazing fast uh, test. Uh, we also did uh, the, um, the benchmark scores, uh, the throttling test. Uh, everywhere it shined really well. So in terms of performance, this is definitely a powerhouse. Uh, without any sort of issue so uh, the day-to-day -day experience is very smooth lag free you get 120 hertz refresh rate uh, it's a very smooth experience altogether and if you're a person who loves gaming uh, you would be really enjoying uh, the gaming experience and it also has uh, one of the largest vapor chamber cooling and uh, you get a very good gaming experience as well if you are a gamer this is one of the good devices out there in this price segment offering great uh, gaming experience too so overall in terms of performance it's a powerhouse uh, literally so you don't have to worry about anything in the performance department now next up uh, the fingerprint scanner this device comes with the in display fingerprint scanner once again very good uh, similar to iq devices uh, it performs really well now you get a uh, stereo speakers a uh, very good sound output as well St uh, the speaker quality is good the sound experience is good now you also get 5g support uh, we haven't been able to test a 5g for obvious reasons but uh, 5g bands are supported now you get a uh, 4glt voice over wi-fi carrier aggregation everything is supported and uh, uh, we tested with uh, idea and as well as uh, geo uh, sim cards so uh, the signal strength was uh, pretty good here we didn't face any sort of issues while calling nor uh, any network issues we did not face any sort of issues sir so it is very good in terms of uh, the signal strength now next let's move on to uh, the camera department now this device comes with a triple camera setup now the camera uh, hardware is pretty good actually you get a 50 megapixel primary sensor then you get uh, a 13 megapixel uh, or rather 12 megapixel uh, telephoto lens and uh, then uh, you get a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera so it is having one of the good, better hardware at this price segment for a camera and you get a 16 megapixel selfie camera as well now we have done the detailed camera review so in case you have not watched that video do check out that video because we have done uh, an extensive camera uh, review covering all the aspect now this uh, camera performs pretty well uh, the colors are good but a bit of saturation issues is there uh, that is uh, predominantly on almost all of uh, the iq devices there is a bit of saturation issues but otherwise the sharpness levels are good the uh, the detailing is good the overall clarity is good uh, the daylight shots came out pretty well same is the case with the ultra wide angle camera it also came out pretty well there is a macro mode which uh, is uh, being used by the ultra wide angle camera you also get uh, the telephoto lens you can uh, do uh, 2x uh, optical zoom once again very good experience so in terms of camera experience it's pretty good the portraits are also quite okay and the low light experience is uh, quite adequate i would say uh, nothing exceptional out there but uh, it, it won't uh, disappoint most of the users it does provide good overall experience and the selfies also turned out to be decent experience so overall camera as a whole we don't see any sort of issues here uh, it may not be having the stellar camera out there but uh, it won't disappoint most of the users and especially the primary camera perform pretty well so that was the camera experience now uh, if you want a more or in-depth uh, camera review do check out our channel we have uploaded the iq 90 camera review now finally the battery life now this device comes with a 4700 mAh uh, capacity battery and it supports 120 watts uh, uh, flash charge and this can charge the device in around 19 minutes that's one to hundred percentage flat in 19 minutes so that's one of the fastest uh, charging available one of the fastest again not the fastest but uh, really fast charging now the battery performance is once again good because the qualcomm snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chip has a lot of optimizations compared to the uh, snapdragon 8 gen 1 so you get better battery life it's pretty good actually by this uh, 4700 standard you won't have any sort of issues probably six to six and a half hours easily you can get again that depends upon the apps you use if you are going to do a lot of gaming probably it might go down but again on an average user you might be able to get that so that's 
the battery life it's pretty good battery life actually so that was uh, the detailed or in-depth review of the iq 90 now let's summarize the pros and cons now the pros include good build quality so design is subjective so i wouldn't put it into the uh, pros or cons uh, build quality is very good the display is a 10 bit amoled it's pretty good the cameras are good the gaming performance is good the day-to-day -day performance is stellar and battery life and charging are good now where it needs improvement is the fun touch os it's not a very refined ui so it definitely needs a bit more fine tuning probably with uh, the android 13 versions we expect uh, vivo to work on this it's not the smoothest experience out there it needs a bit more polishing so that's one of the major cons we felt with the device but otherwise uh, it's a pretty good uh, device in this price segment uh, with hardly any major cons uh, uh, listed so that was uh, the detailed review of the iq 90 so this is available for a price of 49 triple nine and with card offers you can get it as low as 45 triple nine so this is a pretty good device for the pricing so what do you guys think about the iq 90 do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day